Have you ever wondered about the legal considerations for your online business? If you have, you're not alone. Many entrepreneurs grapple with understanding the legal landscape surrounding their online ventures. In the session of the 30-day mastermind workshop, let's dive into this complex topic and gain valuable insights. Imagine embarking on a journey, one where each step forward uncovers a new layer of knowledge, a new perspective, and a new understanding of the world of online business legality. That's precisely the journey we are on in this 30-day mastermind workshop. It is important to understand the importance of choosing the right business structure. The structure of your business isn't just a matter of paperwork. It's a critical factor that influences ownership, liability, taxes and future growth. It's the foundation upon which your business stands and it's crucial to get it right. Operating as a sole proprietorship can seem like the simple route, but it comes with the risk of personal liability for any financial damages. On the other hand, registering as a limited liability company, a corporation or a partnership can protect personal assets. However, these business entities come with their own set of fees and may require legal assistance. Let's go further and dive into the intricacies of partnerships. These are pass-through entities with advantages and disadvantages hinging heavily on your chosen partner. Meanwhile, limited liability companies offer flexibility in tax treatment and additional protections to members. Consult a local tax advisor or attorney. Let's go deeper into the realm of corporations. These are separate legal entities providing no personal liability. They stand as independent entities distinctly separate from their owners. They are great for issuing more than 100 shares. You may get taxed at the corporate level and then again at the personal level. It is important to know that you get taxed after expenses. As a business owner, it's important to know that your business credit is separate from your personal credit. Business credit scores range from 0 to 100 and are easier to fix if there are any issues. Using your personal credit as a guarantee for your business can restrict your options for business credit. An employer identification number, EIN, is a federal tax identification number that businesses can use to identify themselves. Generally, all businesses need an EIN. You can apply for an EIN in various ways, including online through the IRS website. It's a free service offered by the Internal Revenue Service and you'll receive your EIN immediately. Remember to check with your state to confirm if you need a state number or charter. Wealth Builder Prep can assist you with the SBA grade business plan or you can use ChatGPT to do a free one. Decide on the business name that spells the way it sounds for the purpose of your website. You can use ChatGPT to create articles of incorporation or you can work with us to develop one. Go to your local government website. For example, if you're in Florida, sunbiz.org. You can register for your entity there and get the certificate to go with it. Apply for an EIN number online for free. To elect to become a subchapter S, you need to fax form 2553 to one of two fax numbers based on your state. This information will help you open three types of business accounts at the bank a checking account, a savings account, and an operating account. One of these accounts can be used to store your taxes and tithes, while another can be dedicated solely to payroll. Now you can apply for an American Express business account for a credit card and a Quill or Office Depot business account to bill credit. Registration for Dun & Amp. Bradstreet is free and helps build business credit. To sell anything, you'll need a sales tax number from your local tax authority. Before I forget, you're going to need a business, phone number, and address, and it can be virtual, but it cannot be your personal residence as your primary business address. But you can use your primary residence and write off a portion of it in your taxes. Not all virtuous are created alike. You need to use a business phone number. We have platforms that you can use, should you choose to. Using your mobile or Google number to communicate with companies is no longer a popular option. I've had a Google number for a while, and it used to be the norm but now it's becoming outdated. Although I am affiliated with a company with an excellent communication system, I haven't completed the switch yet. However, I'm starting to feel the adverse effects of using an outdated system. It's like the story of the dog on the nail. It's not causing enough pain for me to take action and change it. This lesson is almost over, but your learning is just beginning. For more details, feel free to inquire about our business advisory package. Imagine yourself in the future and consider what your brand means, how people perceive it, and how it is perceived by others. Then 
Return to the present and determine what your tax structure will look like in the future. Keep in mind that this structure may change as you expand your brand. Ask yourself the following questions. Are you collaborating with someone? Are you selling more than 100 shares? Is your goal to make a profit or to achieve a certain status? To summarize the key points from our journey, remember that the structure of your business is a critical component that influences various aspects of your venture. Choose wisely between sole proprietorship, partnership, LLC or corporation, considering the implications on liability, taxes and future growth. Understand that each structure comes with its own set of advantages and disadvantages. The 30-day mastermind workshop is indeed a journey, a journey of discovery, of learning and of empowerment. Today we stand at the end of this lesson, but the path to understanding the legal landscape of online business continues. So keep asking questions, keep learning and keep growing.